That is super smooth. I'm kind of impressed with that. I'm gonna let up. What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit, and we are here on Forza Motorsport 7. So we are staring down that wide-body FC of my SSR car. So before we talk about that, I want to talk a little bit about the ESDA. So unfortunately, I did not qualify in the ESDA driver search. Um, I kind of made a mistake on my first run, spun out, and uh, got a zero. And on my second qualifying run, I had a 71, which is not a super bad qualifying score given what I was doing last year. But it was not enough to get qualified in for ESDA. So that is why we are staring down this FC here today. I will be competing in the SSR Drift competition this weekend and uh, we'll be rocking this uh, FC RX-7 livery, base livery done by TUS Anthem. Did a fire job with that uh, red and chrome livery on the car. So this weekend I will be competing in the SSR and uh, We'll be running a Long Beach section. Different Long Beach section than what I'm used to, but the uh, specs on these cars are a little bit lower. We're running street tires. We're running 500 horsepower max. Uh, minimum weight of 24. Uh, minimum weight of 2,400 pounds. Like that's the lowest you can go. So they're mildly tuned compared to say the uh, ESDA cars that I run. So we are going to be uh, testing this car here today and doing some test runs on the Long Beach section. It's a bit of a different section than I'm used to, and uh, it's it's actually uh, quite, I would say, um, complicated to get right at times because it's very tricky because it uses the fountain turn and a section of the track that you wouldn't normally think would be a drift track for a competition. But it flows, it flows nice when you get it right. Um, personally, I think it flows better going backwards. But we're gonna run some practice for it today, and then uh, you know we're gonna be doing some uh, more practice throughout the week before the competition on Sunday. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be live streaming that or if I will just be uh, breaking a video for you guys. Um, but so we're gonna get the wheel cam turned on because uh, we definitely need the wheel cam for today. We're gonna get our gloves turned on. We are running our uh, H pattern shifter today because we're only pretty much going to third and staying there. And uh, this car wouldn't have a sequential in it. So like I said, the section that we're running is a little bit different than the normal like Long Beach section that uh, I'm definitely used to. We are rocking that stock rotary in this car though. It's a bit in flames. It's this back section off the front stretch. Um, so if you guys have raced Long Beach, you guys know about this section. So we're gonna heat up our tires a little bit. And then give it a go. Except we don't wanna go into the wall and uh, completely screw the car up from the get-go. So we're just going to give this a little run here, give you an idea of the track, try to get as many clipping points as I can. So we do a 50 roll until uh, the 500, and we're initiating in about the 2. Try to stay off the rumble strips there. So this is the part that I said is a little bit tricky, and is a uh, Quite different than what I'm used to. Bring it out. We don't really want to wall tap that, but. So that is actually the section that we will be running um, in SSR. And it's a, a very different section than what I'm used to. So I've been trying to get this car dialed in. I kind of have this car dialed to where I like it. Um, I've been messing around with this car a little bit, doing some open lobbies, as well as um, on the Dubai circuit for the uh, monthly challenge and stuff like that. So I've been getting more comfortable with it. This car I was comfortable with before. I built this uh, FC actually for a subscriber a long time ago. It was a white one. I built it for a subscriber a long time ago before drift suspension came out. And uh, now I've acclimated it with drift suspension and stuff like that. And now we're just uh, you know, running this FC. Definitely kind of wanted to uh, use a car that I've used before, but is a kind of a cool car and to keep the rotary in the car and you know bang those Doritos is uh, definitely a lot of fun. So we're gonna send this again. Forgot I gotta do a 50 roll. Initiate in. 
was not the best line through there. Kind of straightened up to that section, but I don't want to do that day of competition and over rotate like that at all, but definitely slowly still getting comfortable with this car. Maybe some finite tweaks I'm going to be making with the suspension and stuff like that, but I think it's pretty close to being how I want it to be. Um, my uh, teammate TUS Renga is also uh, running an older RX-7 in SSR. Uh, big congratulations to him in actually uh, advancing the top 16 and outrun. Um, and TUS Anthem as well. So um, they will be running in SSR this weekend as well. We are rocking these red livery by TUS Anthem. Great painter. If you haven't seen his stuff, make sure you guys check out his uh, his stuff. T U S Anthem. I'll leave his gamer tag down in the description box below. He's got a lot of layer groups and a lot of finals up that a lot of custom paints and stuff up there. So always coming in clutch with these fire paints. And uh, then giving me the ability to uh, finite tweak it and add my little touches to it via my sponsorships and stuff like that. So not a normal section that I would normally be drifting, but a fun little section if you don't clip the wall, for sure. You know what, and we're just gonna run this one more time and then we're probably just gonna shred this car to the rest of the Long Beach circuit. Uh oh, <laughs> bopping up there. And you know, throw it into the actual FD section and everything like that just to have a little fun with the car. So this is just a uh, little look at my uh, SSR car that we're going to be running this weekend. Like I said, I may be live streaming the actual competition on my runs, or I may just be uh, making a video about it for you guys. I mean, you guys may be able to watch the SSR live on Twitch, I believe. Um, if I find out the information of where you can watch it, I will let you guys know if you guys want to watch the SSR competition. and. Uh, well, you'll get to be able to see the battles and then, you know, see it from my perspective as well here on the channel. I'm going to roll this in. Throw it in. That's a bit better. Not as close to that front of the wall as I wanted it to be, but... Oh! Tap in the touch and go. <laughs> With the back end of the car a little bit shallow on there but we will get it dialed in more and i feel like oh we're just gonna finish this finish this run off here at the track and just shred this car have a little fun uh, we don't have either one of our tail lights there we go a little uh dorito bang in for today Probably should shift in the fourth. I'm probably gonna link that. Rocking our way back to the actual back part of the FD section. We're gonna come in this thing pretty hot. Slow ourselves up a little bit. So I am kind of a little upset about spinning out on the first qualifying run of ESDA for the driver search, but unfortunately it's what happened. Nerves got it better at me. So that is why we are running this drift series to bring some tandem comps to the channel and my endeavors of uh, battering myself as a tandem driver. And uh, I've definitely been getting better with tandem driving and driving in general with the help of uh, the TUS guys. I didn't think I was going to get the car rolled down enough for that. So if you guys are excited to see drift battles and stuff on the channel, let me know in the comment section down below. I will hopefully, I think I'm going to be doing a live, uh, basically SSR testing and drifting and tandems tonight on the channel here live. So might be uh, opening it up for uh, you guys to come on in if you guys want to drift on 47, depending on how many members of the TUS team. We're gonna have practicing because I know I will have probably uh, Anthem and Ranger on the channel. 
getting some practice. Maybe uh, as well as some uh, old friends of the channel who uh, are actually bracketed up in the same bracket as me. That was a bad turn. Same bracket as me for this competition. So, like I said, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All of which are found in the description box below. Ow. I was going to try a I was gonna try a nasty entry, but uh, she kind of hit the wall there and screwed ourselves up. This car just handles so nice, nice and smooth. So I think before we go, maybe we should take this car to Dubai or to another track and see how this thing runs. See if we can throw this really hard into this section. That's gonna be bad. If we can't bring this back around, we're not gonna bring it back around. So we're gonna switch it up real quick before we end this episode off. And uh, maybe try and tackle that Dubai section real quick in this car and see if we can maybe still beat our TUS members. Because I'm still trying to get that scores up there. Still trying. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Make sure you tap and like this video. I do appreciate the support. If you guys wanna get the videos first, make sure you tap that bell notification because uh, I would appreciate the uh, bell notification likes on the channel, featured events, and uh, Dubai. We've got to beat that. We're going to be bringing out the FC. Might as well. Might as well throw it down real quick and uh, see how the Dubai handles the FC or the FC handles the Dubai. So, super excited to be competing in it. Definitely excited to uh, get my uh, competition tandem in and uh, see how I can do. Hopefully, I can uh, do good and get up in there in the ranks and not lose on my first battle. But uh, we'll see what happens. This is drifting. You never know what could happen. So, we're just going to go full send and uh, see what this little uh, FC can do here on Dubai. We got somebody in our passenger seat. We're just gonna start off getting points. Just because we can. So I feel like this car will not over rotate as much as I was with the Denofa car. Because this car is actually tuned. And I'm pretty comfortable in this car as we just smack the front bumper off. But this is our out lap, so we got one good run on us. As soon as this car can stay in fourth gear. Just all the clutch kicks to keep it in power. That rotary is just screaming. There we go. That's a little bit early, so now we gotta fish that out a little bit more so we can keep our drift alive on our main points run. Kinda run some wide drifts to keep points. So, actually, very impressed with how this car is handling Dubai with 500 horsepower. Actually, 497 is what we're looking at with this car. That is super smooth. I'm kind of impressed with that. Very minimal correction on the wheel once it's sideways. It kind of just locks itself in place and uh, just goes. I'm actually quite impressed with how smooth this car is right now. Modulating that throttle, I think. I think I handle this car a little bit better than I do my ESDA car. Uh-oh. Did I honestly just find my new favorite drift car? All right, so now here comes our flying lap. This is the one that's for all the 
All the marbles. There we go. We thought I was gonna lose it to that section, but we didn't. Gotta keep our front bumper off the wall this time. Use our e-brake to adjust us there so we don't smack the wall. Could have probably left foot braked it and also kept us off the wall. The clutch kicks. A little loss of angle there, but we're still good. We're still, we're still rocking this little FC, the little FC that could right now. That was what I was looking for. That one we were able to link it. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, get wrecked. That was perfect. But unfortunately, too close to the wall. I think we'll probably get one more run at this. I'm just really impressed with how... Oh, 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 there goes the wing. Probably didn't need to right there, but we lost our spoiler. Just banging fourth gear. So we're going to do one more flying lap before we end this episode off. Definitely having a lot of fun on this Dubai challenge. I know some people commented on my video saying that they had like 90,000 and stuff like that. Well, I feel like this car, out of any of the cars that I've tried this with, which is pretty much just the RTRs, I feel like this car is capable of uh, great scores. There we go. That's what I wanted. Kind of fell off drift there, but we're still good. Fix this wide. So we're nowhere near our front bumper. The cam brake flick. Some clutch kick in. Stay in power. Kind of using the left foot brake and the momentum of the car to get up this section. Extend this out. Put it out. That's a better entry than last time. So maybe we don't wall tap it. We will be good. Getting kind of greedy with that. Uh, angle really long you break to throw or stretch that turn out a lot closer to that than I wanted to be that's not what I wanted to do I need to run this really wide for all the points not handbrake it the way I did Handbrake wide there. I feel like this, if any run, it's going to be the run that beats some of our TUS friends. Maybe not because I'm cutting it really short here. <laughs> just shy so that's gonna be here for this episode here on forza motorsport 7 hope you guys enjoy the new car and the new content that's gonna be coming out with the uh, ssr battles as always i thank you guys for watching i'm your rabbit i'm out